Hi, I'm Dustin Sanders with Scarlet Oak Homes. Today, we're going to talk about how to aerate your lawn. Aeration is one of the best things you can do to keep your lawn looking green and healthy. Before we get started, it's helpful to understand why aeration is important. By poking finger-sized holes in your lawn, aeration allows fertilizer, water, and oxygen to get into the roots where healthy grass starts. Aeration should be done once or twice a year depending on soil content. In areas with a high clay content, twice a year is best. Most other areas can stick to annual aeration. Here are the supplies we need to get started. Rent your 18-inch walk-behind aerator and fertilizer spreader from Sunbelt Rentals. While you're there, don't forget to buy gloves, safety glasses, and hearing protection. Be sure to also wear closed-toed shoes and long pants, because you know we gotta be safe out there. Most homeowners can aerate their own lawn using a gas-powered walk-behind aerator. But in advance, mark your sprinkler system with flags so you don't damage anything. I also recommend mowing your lawn so the tines on the aerator penetrate properly, as well as watering before you start to help soften the ground. Now start the engine of the aerator, raise the wheels, push down on the handlebar so the machine weight can drive the tines into the ground as deep as possible. Pull back the drive lever and we're ready to go. Go back and forth over the lawn with the aerator. You don't have to go in straight lines, but you do want to get as much coverage as possible. When you are done aerating, you will have thousands of little plugs all over your lawn. Those are from the holes that will allow water, air, fertilizer, and nutrients into the root system. You don't have to pick up the cores. In fact, the cores will actually break down and decompose over the next few weeks. Reseeding after aeration is good practice. The seeds will mix with the deteriorating plugs and have direct access to the holes in the soil. Be sure to water frequently after aerating and seeding. The seed should stay moist at all times. Depending on the rainfall, daily watering is probably a good idea. Be patient, as the seeds need at least 21 days to germinate. Stick to a regular watering schedule and you will soon have a lush green lawn. Time spent aerating will definitely pay off in the springtime. Your neighbors are sure to be jealous. Rent the tools for this project and plenty of others at Sunbelt Rentals.